The mainstream media have once again decided to alienate the British public by calling all the local people protesting against net zero far right. Now, they cannot be that stupid, the mainstream media. They know exactly what they are doing. There have been people over the last few days and weeks, prote uh, people uh, protesting in Essex, in Surrey, in Oxford and other places against their uh, net zero measures in London. Uh, there are various uh, different types of measures for different things, but all goes under the umbrella of the net zero. Uh, so, for example, the, the low traffic neighborhoods, uh, the LTNs, you've got the uh, ULES, the ultra low emission zones, uh, and you've got the idea of 50 minute neighborhoods. Uh, that is uh, supposed to be, it's been sold to us as, well, we're going to help the infrastructure. We're going to help have everything within 15 minutes, you know, your local pharmacy and your supermarkets. But in reality, they're going to add travel restrictions for your cars, which is idiotic. But there was a protest a couple of days ago, a few days ago in Oxford, which we talked about. Massive rally, uh, the Oxford Mail, uh, other local press and mainstream media called everybody a fascist. <laughs> now, then there are people uh, on this side of the argument against net zero who don't know how to completely debate with the mainstream media and with the liberal side. Uh, the best thing to actually do, to, to admit, to, to acknowledge that of course there, will be, there, there are always one or two idiots who try to come to these events. There were, we actually we had identified a couple of names who were part of the far right parties. We have, we have like a couple of far right parties in this country, small parties, that's it. But doesn't mean every single person <laughs> who's concerned about the safety and the local neighborhoods and schools are far right. It makes absolutely no sense to say this. But let, let me show you some of these really, really hard right people. Let's let's um, <laughs> familiar. <laughs> let's let's get familiar with these faces. I'm owner of the big dry clean and alteration in Cowley Road. A lot of our customers used to come from outside Cowley. They can't make it anymore. We're really struggling at the moment for small businesses. Did any of the councillors come to see you about your business? Uh, not really. No. We spoke to so many of them. We've done a lot of campaign and then they just keep saying we're still waiting for the next decision. So hopefully we'll be better for small businesses in the area. Very, very hard right, as you can tell. <laughs> That is the face of the far right in Britain. Uh, thanks to the guys at uh, the Together Declaration for sorting out these videos. They've been very good at campaigning and filming these things. Let's go to the next person who is also very far right. Oh, so far right. Uh, let's go. My business name is Eastern and the Continental Store, 152 Cowley Road, Oxford. And we are doing this business since 1978. Wow. And we was very happy up to the 20th May of last year. Then, you know, they have start LT and business. You know, they start closing the road with no reason. Yeah. No reason. People paying road tax, insurance, and they can't drive on the road. And I lost a lot of customer, lot of customer. I don't want to close my business. You know, every customer, they like me because we look after them as much as a good friend, not a customer. But at the moment, we have no alternative to close if it carry on like this. 80% mm -hmm. people are against. We used to have a lot of customers come to my shop because the bus route is good. Yeah. But no, I miss all of them because people say they can't sit in half an hour or 45 minutes in, you know, in the bus. Oh, yeah. So this is uh, cruel. I'm not supporting this LTN. Very, very hard right. Indeed, that man is the face of fascism. <laughs> These people are simply concerned about their livelihood, about their local community, about their businesses, about everything, about their families. What is wrong with the media establishment in this country? As I said, what they do is they will go and find the literally two people in any of these marches that have links to some uh, alternative small niche parties that we call far right. 
uh, and they say, well, that means that the, the whole the whole of the march is basically uh, linked to some sort of right wing party. Um, there, it's Oxford, by the way. <laughs> Oxford is not the home of right wingism, um, but uh, that it's the same thing. We're going to talk about what's been going on in Nosley and in Merseyside as well, because they did the exact same thing there. People in Liverpool, for example, <laughs> it's the home of the Labour Party. It's the home of socialism, and they're calling the protesters who are concerned about uh, the safety of their uh, their children and the girls in the area. Uh, they call them right wing. I mean, are you absolutely kidding me? We are going to be talking about uh, Nosley as well in a bit, uh, but uh, it's just absolutely fascinating. And we're going to come back in half now. We're going to give you more updates on what's going on in the country, especially Lee Anderson, MP, who decided to stand up to the mainstream media when it comes to the attacks that he has been receiving. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.